Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Buzz, and today guys, I'm gonna show you how to install the Meteor Client for 1.20.1 Minecraft Java Edition. So before the video starts, please consider subscribing, leaving a like and a comment, that would be awesome. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go right into the video. Okay, so all the links will be in the description. So for the first step, you're gonna want to go to the first link, which is the installation for Minecraft launcher of the Fabric Mod. So to do that, you're gonna go ahead and click on the blue download for Windows button, and there is going to be a Fabric installer that is going to be installed. Now you're gonna go ahead and left click on that and just go ahead and run. Now I already have fabric installed for 1.20.1 but basically you're going to want to choose your version over here which is 1.20.1 and the latest version right over here. Now you're going to go and click install but I already have it so I'm not going to do it. Anyways now that this is done you're going to want to go to the second link which is the fabric API. Now you're going to go ahead and click on the 1.20.1 fabric API one and you're going to go ahead and click download. Once you have installed this file please go on the third and final link, which is the Meteor Client. Now the Meteor Client is in 1.19.4 or in 1.20 slash 1.20.1. Now I wanna do a quick disclaimer guys, please don't use these sorts of clients in servers that forbid them because you will be banned and this is a warning and I will not be responsible for anything that you do with these clients. So now that this is done, go ahead and click on this button, which is the 1.20 to 1.20.1. And once you click that, you are going to have these two files with the Meteor your client and the fabric API. Now that you have these two files, go ahead and type Windows R and go ahead and type percent app data percent. Now that you have that, go ahead and press enter and you will be greeted with this window, which you can see we have a dot Minecraft folder. Now click on that, go ahead and find your mods folder. If you don't have one, go ahead and do new folder and just rename it mods. Now go ahead and click on that mods folder. And as you can see, I already have these two files installed, but what I can do is you can just go ahead and drag these two right in here and it will work as a charm. Now, don't worry, you won't have any of these. I don't know why they're there. I just did a weird thing with my computer. But anyways, you will only have these folders or if you don't have anything in your mods folder, well, you won't have anything. Now that this is done, go into your Minecraft launcher and you are going to want to launch your new version of Minecraft, which is the 1.20.1 Fabric Minecraft Java Edition, which as you can see, it is right here. So if you can't find it, go ahead and go into configuration new configuration and you're gonna want to look for a 1.20.1 release fabric loader which is right over here I, I already have one so I'm not gonna do that but if you can't find it go ahead and do it let's go ahead and press play now and we're gonna see how this mod works well the basics of how to use it and how it can be useful for crashing servers or stuff like that okay as you can see we are on the game and we have the meteor client running what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and click single player create a new world whatever you want it doesn't really matter go ahead and go into creative and create a world okay guys now that you have your minecraft meteor client installed what you're going to want to do is go ahead and press escape options controls keybinds go all the way down and you will have your meteor client controls right over here now you have the open command so this is basically how you will input commands with the meteor client so you know in vanilla minecraft we usually do a slash well with the meteor client it is two points just like this now what is really interesting is this button right here you can put whatever you want i just put v but this is going to open your gui as it is written right over here and you will be able to enable any hacks you want so let's go ahead and do that right now now let's go ahead and press the v button and as you can see we have the gui that is going to load up here now as you can see we have a lot of titles and a lot of things going on right here now i'm just going to show you the basics so as you can see we have the title named combat and this is everything that is going to have to do with combat so we are going to have Killora, we're going to have Criticals, we're going to have uh, Auto uh, uh, Crystals, Crystals Aura as you can see. We're going to have the player, this is everything that has to do with the player, so fast use, fake player, uh, EXP thrower, anything like that. Now we have the movement, the render, the world, and the misc. Now as you can see we have two things over here, the search and the favorite. Now the search, you can basically search whatever you want, so if I want to go ahead and search a specific hack, as you can see, I can have it right over here. Now, this one is just if you want to use hacks really often, if you have your favorite hacks, as you can see, it's all it's literally favorite. Well, you're gonna go ahead and choose a hack, whatever you want, full brightness, let's go ahead and do that. And you're gonna right click on that. And as you can see, there's gonna be a little star. Now it's already in my favorites, but anyways, if I go ahead and click this star, if I go and press escape in this bar, as you can see, we are going to have, uh, where is it? Uh, full brightness. 
this right over here. Now again guys, you will be warned you might get banned on certain servers if you use these hacks. You can go ahead and use them on anarchy servers, but yeah, don't go and play with them on servers that forbid them or you will get banned. Now guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing, leaving a like and a comment. I read every single one of them. And if you really enjoyed this video, please consider sharing it to your friends. Anyways guys, my name is Biles, offline. Thank you.